Roadshow Kitchen is being uh, going through a facelift, actually. KCC and E has allowed us to overtake their kitchen. We've got some uh, caramelized onion soup. Yes. Everything I love. Nick Raybar hey. from Avenue N is here with us today to put this together. I will. I love it. Thanks so much for being here with Stop us. Stop it, buddy. Great you know, I love being nice here. I love This place is fabulous, so by nice. the way. And it's a great, this, this little worktop is so great to make this, this caramelized sweet onion soup. Right. So let's talk about onion soup because it's a very traditional soup. Um, it's a very hearty soup, but there are little nuances you can do to sort of own it and, and uh, customize it for your own little flavor profile. Right. And what I like to add is a little additional sweetness to these very sweet onions. So I've julienned up some um, Vidalia onions. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can't find the Vidalias, um, you can use Peruvian sweet onions. But sweet onions have a little bit more natural sugar and they caramelize really, really well and they add a little sweetness to this. Okay. Traditionally, you would add like a cognac or something, but I'm going to add Marsala wine because Marsala, again, a little sweeter. It's got some fabulous sweetness, little overtones to it. Then I have uh, hot broth simmering here. This is a combination of chicken and beef. Okay. So, oh, so you mix them together? I mix them together. So a little bit of hot broth goes, uh, goes a really long way. Um, some Parmesan cheese, yep. a little fresh thyme. I've got my sourdough crostini here that I'm going to toast up. And instead of doing your traditional like baked, we're going to just put the crostini on top. And instead of using some of your more common cheeses, we're going to use Roquefort cheese. Okay. So Roquefort is a blue vein cheese. All right. It's aged in caves in Roquefort, France, and it is phenomenal. And it is pungent. And it is complex. And it's going to add a really unique flavor to this sweetness. I like a good cheese like that. Mm -hmm. So these are the, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these are things we need to put this together. So we will put this together. We're going to give this. A try in just a little bit. Back to you. We are back in the kitchen cooking with Chef Nick Raybar, and I love a good soup. I love a good soup. I don't care if it's nice out or, or crummy outside. It, it's good any day, any time. And friend, and like an onion soup has to be top of the list. Yeah, has to be top there. of the okay, list. It's a classic. You know, it's a classic, and we're gonna do our classic. We're gonna do it our way today. Okay. We're gonna do it right here, roadshow style. Okay, where we take these beautiful sweet onions, and that's the sound you want to hear. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, if it's too cold, they, they kind of sweat, you yeah. know? And then by sweating, it releases too much moisture, and by releasing too much moisture, they don't really caramelize well. Mm -hmm. So you really want to get that hard sear on these onions. Okay, okay? so and we're going to let those go for a while. You're going to let them go. You're just going to let them do their thing. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about what's going to happen next. So while these are caramelizing, they're going to sort of, the sugars are going to release. Mm -hmm. And when the sugars release, what happens is they start to actually do what we're calling it. They're going to start to caramelize. Yeah. And that's why occasionally stirring is super, super important mm -hmm. because otherwise they can burn very easily because these these onions right. have a, a much higher sugar content than your traditional yellow onion or, you know, store-bought white onion. Okay. Um, so that's by design. That's what we want. Then what's going to happen is, well, once it's caramelized, we're going to go in with our Marsala wine. We're going to reduce our Marsala wine, okay, by half. That's going to cook out the alcohol, and mm -hmm. that's going to enhance the sweetness and add some of that beautiful, um, you know, that beautiful uh, wine flavor into there as well. Yeah. Then we're going to go in with our beautiful bone broth, okay? We have chicken, and we have beef, okay? Yeah. The beef is uh, a touch of, like, um, gloss of yon, a little demi-gloss also, and mm -hmm. what that is is a little richness as well. So it's going to add a touch of thickness to the soup, and then we're going to go in with our beautiful beautiful uh, Parmesan cheese here. Mm. And that adds phenomenal, phenomenal flavor. Fresh thyme. Yeah, oh, yes. we got to get our crostini going. we got okay. so much to do still. So, crostini's going in the oven. Okay, this is a nice fat sourdough crostini. Mm -hmm. We're going to toast it up 500 degrees, get it nice and crispy so it's hot, and then spread that gorgeous rope for it right on top. Can you use vegetable broth sure if you're can. trying to avoid some sort of animal product? 100%. Okay, because a know. lot of the flavor is going to come from the onions and the wine. So Great. you can totally use that stock. Got a couple slops then. If we got off. Making it at home. We'll finish this up in just a bit. Nick Raybar is back with us, uh, and we are cooking some onion soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the sound of onion soup. Delicious. Thank you. So yes, good. thank you, thank you. And we use a very traditional approach, as you guys know, where we reduce the onions, we use wine, we use broth, we use cheese. Mm -hmm. Some of the little differences, we use those sweet onions, then we use the marsala wine instead uh -huh. of your traditional, like, cognac or brandy, okay. um, and then we use a combination of beef and chicken, and we put in some Parmesan, I'm going to finish with some fresh chopped thyme. Okay, because thyme's gonna add just a little herbaceous, um, little herby, fresh flavor to it. Herbaceous. A little herbaceous complexity. And that is essentially it. Now, one thing that I love about onion soup, and this might just be me personally, is that you can, uh, I like it really hearty. So I like, you know, keep in mind too. the onion to like broth ratio. Yeah. You know, that's, that's so critical. And then when you're serving, 
you know, you can kind of come out with, you know, as much or as little of either as you'd like. But for me personally, I like it to look like that, you know? Yeah. Maybe just a touch more broth. But I like it to be hearty like that. So now, when you do a traditional onion soup, of course you need some sort of, like, crostini or some sort of, like, mm -hmm. um, some cheese on top. Right. So, like we talked about before, we have this very pungent French cheese called Roquefort, okay? And what I've done is I've toasted it. So that's what we got right here? Yep. This is it right here. So, this is, a, it's, it's like so blue, it's like green, you know? You can smell it. It's really, really powerful. So, ow, that's hot. <laughs> okay. You have, chef, you have chef, chef hands. Chef hands. I hope you guys don't mind. Chef hands. Okay, they're melting. Yes. Melting well, right that's right what you want. Spread. Yes. Wow. You want it to melt, and I'm not shaking. It's so hot that I'm trying to make this happen. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put that right on top, okay? Wow. So now you got that beautiful, pungent Roquefort cheese, mm -hmm. okay? Chives fit in beautifully in this in this dish because chives are full onion flavor, okay? Again, a little freshness. And that is something, again, different. Now, what you, why you can do the crostito. Okay, so let's say you wanted to use Gruyere, or let's say you wanted to use or let's mm -hmm. say you wanted to use any other cheese. Let's say you want to use cheddar cheese. Yeah. Instead of baking it on the vessel, because sometimes at home that can be a little hard to do, mm -hmm. bake your crostini on the side, put your favorite cheese Spread on it. top. And put it on top and, and put it let right it go. on top, because right. what's going to happen is as that sits, it's going to absorb, it's going to fall apart, it's going to mm. resemble similar properties right. to like a crostini that you would put on top of bake inside. Right. Um, and what's also nice, it also holds up a little bit firmer at the same time. So I think you guys should try this, because okay. I'm a, I'm I'm a French a onion soup nut, and I know that you guys love it. So you know it's very hot also, <laughs> and we're going to go with this here. So let me kind of just, yeah, give me, give me this bowl, but you, you did such a good I, job. I, I, it was the least you I did such a good job getting these bowls. You did all the cooking was the least I could do. All right, so Mick, you're safe, all right, okay. because this is, uh, you know, no cheese. Yes. No cheese. All right, I want you to give that Thank a shot you. there. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. And, uh, and Mr. Oh, Gilbert, awesome. you're going to have some of this also. Yeah. And I think Ooh. that, yeah, you guys let me know what you think, but I love it, and I think that, um, I think onion soup is just. Oh my God! So I love onion soup. Thank it's you. So I classic. Too, and I'm not even a fan of raw onion too much, mm. but there's something about onion soup and caramelized onions that. It Always tastes, tastes so right. good. I'm so with you. It's like if you throw like a, a red onion on top of a salad, it can like it ruins you for the whole day. So mm -hmm. I'm with you. Way. Like I don't want. A, I don't generally use. If I'm going to use an oh, onion in addition mm -hmm. to be raw, it might be a shallot, it might be a scallion, right. it might be something like that. It's a little bit softer. Down. Cook it down. Get it. But mm -hmm. you know, as far as caramelizing, mm -hmm. you know, onions work so Nick, perfectly. This is delicious. I'm even uh, just trying oh, a, a spoonful of the broth. Yes. Really great combination. So much there. flavor. Thank you. Well, that's and, and again Ooh. we got. All that flavor out of how many ingredients? Five? Yeah. Six? You know, I mean, when you're talking about the flavor, it's coming from the caramelization think, of the onion. We've all, we've all finished it all. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, gone. You keep yeah. talking, Nick. Yes, yeah. all right. I, I've got you from here. <laughs> but no, this Delicious. is this is a good, almost like like a pantry meal. Totally. So you could have most of the ingredients, like a broth, have 100%. it sit there, and, and then when you want them, just pull them right out. 100%. Really quick. 100%. Onions, common ingredient. Broth in your fridge, common ingredient. A cheese of some sort, common yeah, ingredient. You really just need the onion. You just need the onion, and maybe a little bit of wine of your choice. Sherry works. Mm -hmm. Madeira works. Works, right. Cognac works, brandy works, yep. heck, bourbon works. You uh -huh. probably have that in your you pantry, have, too. Oh, I have all of those and, in my pantry. <laughs> and all of these incredible dishes that, that you make for us all the time, you can get them at the restaurant, too. Avenue yes. and in Rumford. Yes, yes. thank you. And, yes. I, and we do we do a lot of, of dishes specific for the Roadshow because I love being here, and I love the fans of the Roadshow, right. and I love to share something new. Occasionally, I will do something from, something like this. The, from the menu, and yeah. this is one of those It's look, really one it's of those so dishes. good. They, if I can't take this off the menu, they'd show up with pitchforks. And, and, and torches, and they'd, they'd, no, they'd, they'd, they'd pull me out into the yeah, parking lot. With the fork. Right. Yeah. And then That's one of the, with barbed wire. One of the other great things, too, is if you don't want to cook at home, you can go in and see Nick, and they have mm -hmm. food that's ready to go that you can yeah. take Just home. Next door. You don't even have to tell your no, family. Ready. You don't even have to tell your family. You, did. you could cook it. It'll be our little secret. Yes. It'll be our little secret. We won't tell. But something <laughs> that we're not keeping secret is this recipe, because you can find it at roadshow.com. Yum.